Spirit knows his children very well. But for me, there was just some music that he was like, uh-uh. It brings you into, it brings me, it brought me into this dark. And I'm like, mm, what fellowship have light with darkness? So watch this. I promise everybody in here, you keep getting closer to the light and watch what happens. Your appetite will start changing. You go start stuff that you used to actually look at and be like, ooh. You're going to be like. Yeah. And it's not you. It's the light in you. You becoming back to your original nature. So what I'm trying to show you is that before the fall, before that pride door got open, they were walking around. Like I was telling you, they was naked and not ashamed. They didn't care. They didn't care about how they were made. They were just walking. They were so free being who they were. The moment the pride door opened, shame hit them, and then the fear thing hit them. And now they're hiding from their creator. Not only is they ashamed of who they are, they now want to hide from the person who created them. That right there is a scary thing. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be operating where if God is saying, um, you know, so I'll give you I'll give you a good example of hiding. If you read your Bible in Exodus, you're going to see a story where God says to Moses, I want to meet with the people. Bring the people up to the mount and I want to come down and speak with them. And something took place. Moses, because he was attracted to light, was so excited. He was like, yes, I get to, you know, I'm going to get to go up there. And the folk, when God began to come down, they started hearing thunder and stuff. Them folks was like, okay, Moses, you go and you talk to him and then tell us whatever. I, that. <laughs> so something happened along their journey in the wilderness that kept them attracted to Egypt. They, got, they could not get Egypt out of them. They were so attracted to being slaves mm -hmm. that they could not enjoy light. To the point that when he said, send 12 spies to look at the promised land, mm -hmm. the 12 go look. Mm -hmm. They see the houses they didn't build. Yep. They see the grapes. They see it all. And they only reported about the giants. So what, what is the revelation to us when that pride door is open? God will begin to show you your blessing. You go start looking at your blessing saying, that's for me, Lord. But Lord, but look at that, though. That's you want me to you want me to marry him, Lord. But and he and that man go treat you like a queen. But Lord, but he got a he got a mark on his nose, Lord. <laughs> But Lord, he don't wear a bandana. He don't. He don't. He don't got a swag. He he don't got his pants at his knee. Lord, <laughs> God, like, all right, go ahead, marry the swagger. <laughs> go ahead, Miss Prideful, go ahead and marry it. And then when he start hitting you, beat you with a uh, with a baseball bat, and you bleeding coming to church. Holding the back of your head, talking about, this is the way I feel like praying tonight. And people are like, why your head back there? <laughs> they be like, Sharice, you know, Sharice be like, um, uh, Susie, why you got your hand back there? And she, oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, you know, got a little sore in my head. And all of a sudden, she see the little blood dripping off. Like, what's going on back there? Oh, oh, just Thomas, me and him had a little disagreement last night. And now she want, <laughs> so now she's about to live a frustrated married life because of her pride. So when I say it's the root, you're going to look at every decision, everything that's happened. So this fear thing, that's why the scripture says that there is that fear has torment. So when we make emotional decisions from fear, remember, fear is an emotion, guys. I want you to understand that fear is an emotion. There is a healthy fear. Let me show you what the healthy fear look like. If a, uh, a rock waller came in here right now. <laughs> hallelujah. And he was drooling at the mouth. Your healthy fear should kick in. <laughs> the fight and flight, that should kick in. That's, that's made from the Lord. <laughs> you don't want to be throwing that fear away, talking about, in the you know, I'm going to stay. No. Use that God-given fear and run, all right? Now, the unhealthy fear, the one we're talking about, is the one that is attracted to darkness. This is the fear. So if every per again, I, I say every addict, every person who is struggling in sin in their life, 
The devil's number one attack on that person is to keep them in fear. Because if you're in fear, you're in torment and you're going to stay in darkness because you're too afraid to come and, and get exposed into the light. So the best way to get this thing fixed is to bring this sin, bring this addiction, bring this struggle, bring that thing into the light and let the light expose it. That's how change begin to happen. Mm, 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 mm. I feel the presence of God in this place. Let me give you one last scripture and then we're going to get ready to worship. Second Timothy. I know many of you have heard this scripture, but let me give you this because I, I want to show you in the Bible that God is very serious about um, about this this second door that we opened up here that we got to get back shut. And the way we're going to shut it is through getting connected to the light. So Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven, for God has not given us the spirit of. And this is what he's given us power love and a sound mind that is coming from the one who we are supposed to be running towards so who in here want to be continually attracted to power love and sound mind so if you begin to pursue god you're going to get power love and sound mind because he he that you get that with the package but the person who says I don't really want God. I want to hide away from God. They are going to experience torment like first John says. Their emotions is always going to be on edge, anxiety, stress. They're going to start going through all these emotional things because that pride door is wide open. So tonight what we want to do is close that door. We want to go back to the Lord and say, okay, you know, what, Lord, I'm tired of being too prideful. I'm tired of acting like I can do this without from you. There's darkness. I, 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 I've allowed myself to get attracted to darkness because of my fear. Now I'm asking you, Lord God, I'm going to take this darkness. So if you got any area in your life that is dark, any area that is dark, I promise you, put it in front of the light. Take that area. Don't don't hide it behind a tree like that. <laughs> take that thing and go right before God. Say, OK, Lord, listen. I'm 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 going to I'm going to humble myself. I am not going to let this shame. I'm not going to be ashamed. I'm going to humble myself and God, I am going to bring you this porn addiction. I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to bring you this, 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 uh, this side chick. I'm going to humble myself. And I'm bringing you this side dude. I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to bring you all this stuff that I'm doing that nobody else know. But I became too attracted to this. And I don't want to be attracted to darkness no more. I'm humbling myself and I need you, God, to cleanse me. And the way I'm going to get cleansed is to bring this to the light. And it's in that moment that you will see the transformation. But most times we say, God, heal me. But we don't bring the thing to the light. So I've always, and it's funny, every time I've seen people get transformation, it was always when they started exposing it. You know what, Lord, I'm, I'm not hiding this. No, that's why David said, against thee, thee only have I sinned. Mm -hmm. David wasn't running away talking about, oh, God. David was like, it was me. <laughs> it wasn't her. And it wasn't, it was me. And God says, man, you humble. I'm going to give you grace. Mm. Because you humble enough to admit it, I'm going to bless you. Who are here ready to bring some dark stuff before the light tonight?